Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing Friend Set 41381 Rescue Mission Boat. This set has 908 pieces and it retails for $90. It was released in summer 2019 and it's really awesome. I love Lego ships and this one is more of a research vessel, which is really interesting because Lego doesn't do that as often, especially not in a theme like Friends. So here's Andrea. Now, I really like this minifigure. They redesigned all of the Friends, I believe, in early 2018. And I really like her newer hair piece. It works perfectly for the character, and I think it's a lot better than her old one. She has a hair bow on the side, which is, you know, just put in on one of those holes that these rubbery Friends hair pieces always have. Mini dolls can move their arms up and down, but they can't rotate at the wrist. They can bend at the waist, and then their feet have, like, a little spot to, like, lodge into, like, foot holder pieces. And there is no back printing, I believe, on this one, because back printing's not as common on mini dolls. Here's Olivia. I believe Olivia is meant to be kind of like the inventor of the group, and I really like this figure as well. Um, just the fact that they all have these matching wetsuit designs in like their kind of friends like signature color, I think that's a really cute idea. Again, this hair piece isn't new, neither is Mia's, who we'll see in a second, but she does have a flower in her hair. Again, it's the same kind of deal where there's just different holes on di like different sides of the hair to plug in accessories. And she doesn't have any back printing, but you can see that there are pockets molded into the back of her wetsuit, which is the case with all of these figures. Here's Mia. I don't like her redesign as much, just because I really liked her dark red hair, and this bright red hair is just like... It's way too bright. It's like an unnatural hair color. No one has that kind of natural hair color. So I don't love that. But again, that's like a minor thing. You can always swap out her hair piece if it really bothers you. She's wearing sunglasses on the top of her hair. I do like the hair piece overall. It's like a really thick ponytail, but this is one that doesn't look too bad on minifigures. I believe they used it on a Kira figure from Solo, actually. And again, there's no back printing for Mia, although because she does have sleeves, those do continue all the way around the arms, which is nice to see. So here's the first build we're taking a look at. As you can see, it's a little island with a beached narwhal, and the island is actually in the shape of a heart, which is cute because, I mean, you know, Friends is all about Heart Lake City and everything. And so there is this little shipwreck piece. You can easily take it off the narwhal, although there's a crane that'll remove it as well. We'll get to that when we look at the crane on the ship. There's a little brick built anchor off to the side and there are like wooden stickers on this. So it's a very small thing, but it's a nice little, you know, piece of ship. And then the only other detail on the island is there's just some water. There's a crate with like some broken like pallet coverings kind of. And then there's a little tree here. This narwhal was a new piece for 2019. It is like quite large next to a mini doll. And as you can see, there's like little heart signs on it. This is obviously not scientifically accurate because narwhals have like a tusk coming out the front of their mouth and not off the top of their head like a unicorn. But I'll just set it down so you can see its size relative to a mini doll. And this crate actually has one of the most interesting Lego pieces I've ever seen. So first of all, it's just got a little spyglass kind of telescope piece, and it has this blank map. So there's nothing on here, but the entire point of this map is that it actually reacts with water. So I just have a little container of water over here, and so the idea is that you can take this piece and just submerge it in the water, and once it's nice and wet, you can see that there are all kinds of different shapes and it provides like a little treasure map. So there's the map. As you can see, it's a lot more clear now because there are two sides to it. This side has like the more clear version and then on the back, it's kind of harder to see. But you can see that right at the top, there is the outline of a heart-shaped island. That's the one that the friends are heading towards with the narwhal on it. And then there's a bunch of different X's scattered around denoting probably buried treasure. And so... That is an incredible piece. This is like one of the best pieces I've ever seen Lego make. Like just how clear this map comes out and the fact that it can actually interact with water. It's just insane to me. I'm really happy that they developed a piece like this. So here's the buried treasure that the map was leading to. It's in a little cave and this is packed full of awesome new pieces. So they, these are newer like coral pieces in the teal color. All of these come from an accessory pack. You know how Lego does like little weapons packs? Well, these are for like sea creatures in the vibrant coral color, which really pops in person, but it's harder for it to come up on camera. They build up another like little bit of sea life with that carrot piece. And all of this just looks very lively. You know, like all of these pieces are molded really well. You've got the seahorse, the fish, the starfish. Back there, there's even a little octopus. 
And so that's really great detail. So around the back, it's not very, like, it's not very deep. It's pretty much just a little entrance, but you can remove the treasure chest with that little octopus piece on it. And then inside, you just have a di couple of differently colored gems. So here's the rescue mission boat itself. Now, this is the third boat that LEGO Friends has produced. There's a fourth one in 2020, although it's much smaller. The previous two were the Dolphin Cruiser and Sunshine Catamaran in 2013 and 2017, respectively. And those were like pleasure craft, you know, those were just to have like a fun like day out on the ocean. This one is really for like search and rescue for sea creatures, which you can see by that rescue logo up there and the little flag with the life preserver. So I think that's a great way to differentiate it. Another great way to differentiate this ship is that use of the vibrant coral color as the highlight. That's incredible. Like I said, that color really pops in person and they even molded one of these large hull pieces in that color, which is really cool to see. This ship is built up with these large hull pieces, but they aren't like the city hulls where like they're all one piece and they'll float. These are like five separate pieces that they also use for the pirate ships. So it can't actually float, but I suspect most people are okay with that trade-off since there is a smaller craft in this set that will actually float. So let's start with a look around the outside. So you've got this camera over here that can like rotate and go up and down, I'm guessing to scan the water for sea life. There are these little lights off to the side that can also be angled and rotated a little bit. Up front, there's like a little pleasure area. There are seats for the friends to sit as well as like some kind of drink for them to obviously drink from. And then you can put like Olivia right there and she can be reclining. Then there's also this little crow's nest up here with another telescope. And so you can put a mini doll right up front there and that's a really great look. It's a little bit low, but I mean, it really, it gets the idea across. And I think it's really great that you can have them exploring the sea like that. We'll be exploring all of the interiors and everything in a second, but on the side here, you've got a satellite dish that can move up and down as well as an antenna. And then back here, again, we're gonna go more in depth in a second, but this is the crane that I was talking about that can interact with that island. All right, so now we're coming to the back of the boat where there's a lot of space to do different things. First off, I'll just point out some of the details. You've got little life jackets hanging off the side, which are very nice. You can just put those around the friend's necks. There's medical instruments off to the side, including a thermometer, a stethoscope, and a little clipboard showing a medical chart. Behind the clipboard is actually Olivia's little robot that she invented. I believe its name is Zobo. And so this is like a water variant of him. Did not mean to drop him, but this is a little water variant. So it comes with a propeller so that he can like go throughout the water to find sea life. So I think that that's a really great feature as well. He also has this like bubble protection around his head that's like from Sandy and SpongeBob. Then the other detail around here is there's a little pool so that when you rescue the narwhal, you can deposit it in the pool and have it play with the ball. So here's the kind of rescue scenario that LEGO lays out for you. You've got this little like rubber dinghy over here. You can seat a friend in there and there's just some like emergency medical supplies back there, just some bottles and a clip to hold something else. As you can see, there are stickers in the front that are kind of peeling up and there's another light. But the whole idea with this is that if you hit this piece, it'll launch the boat out into the water and this piece will actually float. So the idea is that the friend would take this boat up to the island where the narwhal is. So the way the crane works is that it can rotate 360 degrees. The arm cannot move up and down, which is slightly disappointing. There is a spot to seat a mini doll up in the cockpit and they can be like holding onto the levers. But the whole concept with this is that there's just a basic like a winch on it. So you just winch down this piece and you can actually hook it onto the shipwrecked part with the narwhal. And then you can just winch it up and use that to remove the, the wreck off of the narwhal. Once you're done with that, they give you this stretcher. So the idea is that Mia, I would guess, would load the narwhal onto the stretcher. It is a little bit of a tight fit, although that piece does let it stay on quite securely. So then you can hook up the narwhal over there. And then the idea is that you would bring it around and you would drop it into that pool. The other thing that you can do with the crane is you can actually just grab the whole thing and take it out pretty easily, which really opens up the rest of the deck. And so now you can see that the narwhal can be sitting in the pool and playing with its little ball. There's a little tap to fill it up. And there's also a bench back there for the friends to sit on and observe it. The one thing I don't like about this pool build is that the corners are open, which seems really stupid to me because 
instead of using so many of these panel pieces, Lego could have used a corner panel at the ends to make an enclosed pool. So I don't know why they didn't do that because I know they've done it before. So before we get into the interior, let's look at this bridge area of the boat. We already took a look around the outside with the rest of the ship, although I did not mention these little megaphone pieces up there, which are nice to see. What I love about this thing is how detailed and how much space there is inside. So you've got a bunch of consoles. There's a console there, like sonar there. You've got levers, buttons, and a phone. Now that's a lot of detail. The Sunshine Catamaran, for that entire ship, there was just one steering wheel, which I think was really, really stupid. So I like seeing a lot of detail here. Although with the phone, um, whoever's driving this should probably not be on their phone while they're trying to pilot a boat. But it's really great detail in there. And there's so much space. You can fit one character up there actually doing like the sailing and then back here you can fit two more so it's really great that you can fit all three friends in there and as you can see just from the deck space and we haven't even gotten to the interior yet but there's so much space to put other mini dolls from other sets around this thing as well and then the last thing i want to show you is that underneath there isn't really any detail it's all just kind of empty space for the interior so here's the interior of the boat. There's a lot to see, but we're gonna start in this room. I just want to get a little bit of a better angle because it can be hard to see some of the details. So in the middle, we've got a little table. You can see there are some cups and a bowl with some cherries as well as a stool on one end. Back there, there's a big sticker as well as a laptop showing the treasure chest that the friends are looking for. And there's a little couch for them to sit at. On this wall, you've got like a little food prep area. So that looks to be a coffee maker to me. And then you've got like some freezers there. And then there are two drawers down here, which are empty. On the other side, meanwhile, that's more of a research and like lab area. So in this little tank, you can lift up the lid and there's a clam again from that like little animal pack. Then there's a microscope, some jars, and then there's a sink for washing off your diving equipment. So you've got flippers, you've got a camera that just fell out of there, and there's a little scuba like headgear piece over there. So that is enough that you could like outfit a friend in scuba gear if you wanted to. To get to the living quarters of the ship, all you have to do is go through that open doorway. I'm gonna break off that piece because it's going to hinder your view in. What I really love about this ship is that Lego builds up right into like the very edge of this hull piece. You can see that they've got a stack of books and a little reading light above the beds there. And so there are three different beds, all with a separate like bedspread sticker to correspond with each friend. I like this one with the constellations the best. I think that's Olivia's. And then on the wall, there's a little image of a friend like scuba diving with a dolphin. It is a little bit hard to get the camera in here, but I'm just amazed at the way Lego built all the way up to the edge. You can't put the friends on their beds. It's a little bit of a tight fit because their arms go a little bit off of that two by four tile but they all fit pretty well. There's also like windows on the side, obviously. The one up against the wall is probably gonna have a harder time fitting in. That's Mia's bedspread. But then the other thing is that back here, there's a little bathroom. So you can open up the door and then once you get in, again, hard to get the camera in here, but there's a little toilet. There's toilet paper at the back. There's a little sink, again, tucked all the way back into that corner. I cannot believe how Lego used space in this thing. And then that's just the back of the toilet tank. So again, just incredible amounts of detail in this interior. I do wish it was slightly bigger, but like the trade-off is that even though this interior only uses like two out of four of the hull sections, they really squeeze as much as they can out of it. And I wouldn't trade like all of this research and development area back here for any more like livable interior space, quite honestly. There are a ton of extra pieces for a set of this size. Now I separated out the more interesting ones up there, some extras from that like Sea Life pack and a lot of extras from the medical pack. You could use that to fill some of those empty drawers in the ship. And you get an extra lifeboat in addition to all of these other normal pieces. So for a $90 like regular retail set, this was like an insane amount of extras. All right, here's the box for this set. Now, the thing I absolutely love about Friends boxes is that they always look so like fun and inviting, like there's so much to do with this set. And that's really true here. You know, like they even show like a snapshot of the interior of the boat. They show how the crane works, that there's like the water reactive map. Um, and yeah, it just looks very lively. And, you know, it looks like you can do a lot of stuff with this set. And so that's what I like. You can see that there are the minifigures in the bottom right and like those little life preservers. On the top, they always have like just some random pieces from the set and the minifigures. And did 
not mean to drop that. But on the side, there's some more art. And, you know, friends' boxes are, like, beveled, so they have that, like, curved edge. And then on the back, it shows you, like, the full detail of the set. You can see there's Andrea, um, you know, in her, like, CGI stylized form at the top right. And then all of the friends in their CGI forms right there. And, you know, I feel like these boxes do a really good job of just marketing the set. Probably the best of any Lego box I've seen, honestly. Because they show you, like, everything you can do. And they show you, like, plenty of different scenarios. And so I really appreciate that. You do get two instruction manuals in this set, which was strange for me to see. You have this tiny one, and then you've got, like, the more typical giant one. And then the only ad, there's a Lego Life ad inside, but then... On the back, you have an ad for like the Sea Rescue sub theme for summer 2019. So overall, I really love this set. Again, I love Lego boats. Getting a more science-y one is not as common. It's more common in city, but honestly, city boats are never this interesting. They're always ridiculously overpriced because of those floating hulls, and they never have so much going on. I mean, this set has an entire story. You know, you launch the boat, you find the narwhal, you have to rescue it using the crane, then you have to dip the map in actual water to find the treasure. Like, it's very high concept, I feel like, for a Lego set. And it's just so much more interesting than stuff like those city just search and rescue or like Coast Guard boats. And I really love it. It differentiates itself from the more like Pleasure Craft or previous friend sets. And the thing looks incredible because of that vibrant coral highlight color. So I'm really happy with this for $90. I do think it's worth it. It's like a tad bit expensive. 80 would have been a nicer price for it, but I definitely don't think it's a poor value. It just would be a better value if you could get it for a couple bucks off. But that's it for today. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.